guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esty, and on this channel I have a lot of content related to pre-nursing and nursing. Also a lot of content that is related to helping you pass your nursing entrance exams and get into the nursing program that you want to get into. So if you're interested in this kind of content, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel below. I would love to have you guys along for this journey and to connect with you on here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a practice quiz for the science section of the TEAS test. I have a lot of other practice quizzes on my channel already for the TEAS test. And if you'd like to see this playlist, I will be putting that up here for you. So today we're going to be going through seven different questions that are very similar to what you're going to see on the science section of the TEAS test. These questions are all used with permission from Mometrics University, which is a great online course. And if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about Mometrics University, you can go ahead and check out the link that I'm going to be putting down in the description box below. So let's jump right into our practice quiz. I will give you the seven questions and the multiple choice answer options first, and then we will get into the correct answers for all of these questions and why they are correct. Question number one, which of the following items is not appropriately matched with its corresponding bodily system? A, kidneys, genitourinary system, B, heart, circulatory system, C, blood, endocrine system, or D, diaphragm, respiratory system. Question number two, which of the following structures is the natural pacemaker of the heart? A, sinoatrial node, B, submental node, C, atrioventricular node, or D, scalene node. If you need to pause the video, definitely go ahead and pause between these questions to think about them. And then when you're ready, you can just start it back up for the next question. Question number three, the spine and hips belong to which of the following bone types? A, curvy bones, B, irregular bones, C, flat bones, or D, long bones? Question number four, the question below pertains to the following passage. Your class is competing with another class to determine who has the best plant color. Your plant decides to test a couple of solutions to determine which would be the best for overall plant color before competing. The class decides to water the plants once a week with 200 milliliters of the following solutions. Water, diet soda, 1% bleach solution, and a 1% salt solution. All plants are placed in the window that receives the recommended amount of light. After a month of testing, your class notices that only two plants are alive, but one of those two does not look healthy. So the question is, what is the control, if any, in this experiment? The answer options are A, there is no control in this experiment, B, the control is the water, C, the control is the diet soda, or D, the control is the amount of sunlight provided to the plants. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a little time and then you can start it back up when you're ready for the next question. Question number five, when describing a part of the body that is in the front, which of the following anatomical location descriptors would be utilized? A, superior, B, anterior, C, inferior, or D, posterior? Question number six, how does meiosis differ from mitosis? Your answer options are A, meiosis is used to repair the body. Mitosis is used to break down the body. B, meiosis is used for asexual reproduction of single-celled organisms. Mitosis is used for sexual reproduction of multicellular organisms. C, meiosis only occurs in humans. Mitosis only occurs in plants. Or D, meiosis produces cells that are genetically different. Mitosis produces cells that are genetically identical. All right, so our final question, question number seven. A person with the capital T gene will be tall and a person with the lowercase t gene will be short. A person with the uppercase B gene will have black hair and a person with the lowercase B gene will have red hair. Now consider the Punnett square below. So go ahead and take a look at this Punnett square and then here is the question and the answer options. Which possibility would produce a short offspring with black hair? 
The answer options are A, possibility one, B, possibility two, C, possibility three, or D, possibility four. So go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to take a look at this a little bit more. And when you're ready, turn it back on and we will get into the answers to our questions. So the answer to question number one is C, blood endocrine system. The reason that this is correct is the circulatory system circulates materials throughout the entire body. The heart, blood, and blood vessels are part of the circulatory system. The kidneys are part of the genitourinary system. The diaphragm is part of the respiratory system. All right, so moving on to question number two. The correct answer is A, sinoatrial node. The reason this is correct is the sinoatrial node is the natural pacemaker of the body. If the SA node is damaged or malfunctions, the impulse travels down the electrical conduction system to a group of cells further down the heart. This is called the atrioventricular node, which will then take over as the pacemaker. All right, so moving on to question number three. The correct answer is B, irregular bones. The reason for this is the human body has five types of bone. The spine and hips are irregular bones because they do not fit the other major bone types, which are long, short, flat, and sesamoid. Choice A, curvy bones, does not describe one of the major bone types. Moving on to question number four. The correct answer is B, the control is the water. A control is a variable in the experiment that has not been changed by the experimenter, but is subjected to the same processes as the other tested components. Plants are usually provided only water. These are being tested against bleach, salt, and diet soda, all of which are not regularly used to water a plant. The control acts as a reference point for comparison of the results. Moving on to question number five. The correct answer is B, anterior. Anterior means toward the front of the body. Posterior refers to the back side of the body. Superior refers to something that is above in relation to another element, whereas inferior refers to something that is below in relation to another element. Moving on to question number six. The correct answer is D. Meiosis produces cells that are genetically different. Mitosis produces cells that are genetically identical. So the description says, meiosis produces cells that are genetically different, having half the number of chromosomes of the parent cells. Mitosis produces cells that are genetically identical. Daughter cells have the exact same number of chromosomes as parent cells. Mitosis is useful for repairing the body, while meiosis is useful for sexual reproduction. All right, so finally, the correct answer for question number seven is B, possibility two. And you can see in the description below, the complete Punnett square is shown, and possibility two corresponds to the lowercase t and then uppercase B pair of genes, which is short with black hair. So how did you guys do on this practice quiz? If you took this quiz, Drop a comment below to let me know how you did. If you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you, you can definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel below for more content that's similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.